Hello Lava friends, here's what's new in your favorite PHP framework. Let's go! The UL helper received a new query method. The UL helper on Lava is pretty amazing. You can do a bunch of things. You can get the current UL. In our case, this is just our main URL here for this page, for this application. But we can also get the previous one. And yeah, what you can also do is just provide here the URI, so the part after your main URL like this. And then this would be added here as well. But now we have a new method that we can use, which is called query. And what this receives, the first argument is like the URI, so the part after your main URL. So in this case, again, we want to use product. Let's try just this out. You can see we also only get products here, but we also have this question mark because now we're going to add some query parameters, which is the second part here. So let's start by saying we want to get all the products for the page one, for example. Then maybe this URL would look like this, but you can also add more. For example, let's say we only want to have active products. So what this is true, and this now automatically gets added with those query parameters, which is pretty cool. And what's also nice is if you already have something here. So let's say here we want to sort this by the name. Then you can see what we have provided here in the array is being added to this part here. So this still works. We have our products here, we have the question mark, and then we have sorting by the name, page is one and active is one. So this is now a nice new query method that you can use on URL to create a URL with query parameters. Thank you, Steve. Earlier this year, I showed you a new rate limit increment method that you can use to manually increment the used attempt. Now we also have the opposite, a decrement method. Thank you, Alex. When broadcasting an event, you always had to create a new class in order to do this. Not anymore. This is the example from a video about getting started with Reverb, where we have this kind of order status for my ordered Lamborghini. And here we see what the status is like. Currently it's processing. And with Reverb, what we did is we implemented it so that this updates in real time. So I have a little helper here, which is this command. And if I run this now with the status being delivered and as a switch, you can see this is now changing in real time thanks to Reverb. And the way that this works here in this example is here in this command, I'm first storing the new status at the order, and then here I'm dis dispatching this event and I'm providing the order and the status that we provided to the command here. And let's check this out here and here in the broadcast on method, we are broadcasting this on a private channel with the name orders and then the ID of the order. But now we can do something similar without this class at all. So we're going to need a broadcast facade here. And then we have an on method and then we would provide the name of the channel. In our case, we want to use a private channel. So let's directly use this one. And then orders.1. In our case, we can just use a fixed number because we know there is only one. And then we want to provide some data here. So let's do an array here. And the status should be the one that we provide here to this command status here we go and since this now is an anonymous event also on the front end it will be an anonymous event and what we are listening to is we are listening to this event so this means we have to rename this anonymous event and give it a name with the as method and we're providing here the name of our class so this this by the way is only we have to do this because at the front end we are currently listening for this class name. Of course, you would use choose something differently on the front end and then you don't have to use the same because in your case, you probably wouldn't have an event because that's what this is about, not having an event. But for our case, to make this still work, we do this. And then what we're going to use is we use the send method here to send this event. All right, let's take another look. Currently, we are here at delivered. Let's run this now to being processed switch here and you can see this is working as well. So this is now a new way to send anonymous events directly through the facade, similar to what we already have with notifications. And in this way, you don't have to use any class like this at all. 
So yeah, use it if you like. I think this is a pretty cool new feature. Thank you, Joe. And last two weeks ago, Taylor tweeted about his goal to supercharge plate components by improving the performance when using a thousand components. A week later, two PRs were merged and we already have a better performance by 20%. It's amazing how fast this community is and thank you so much, Chris and Lonnie. That's it for this week. Let me know what you like the most about those new features in the comments and see you the next time. Bye. -bye.